Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will understand how to forecast the items in the balance sheet. So the first item is cash and cash equivalent. So this item cannot be forecasted right now because this will come from cash flow statement. Cash flow statement will be prepared after the completion of the balance sheet. So the next item is account receivable and inventory. These two items we will be forecasting from the current assets and the next two items will be forecasted from current liability, accounts payable and accrued liabilities. So let us first create a new sheet. So click on this button or press shift F11 to insert a new sheet. So this is the new sheet that we have inserted. Rename this sheet as working capital. Now what we need? We need certain data here. What data we want? We want the historical data of working capital, account receivable inventory, accounts payable and accrued liabilities. These four items we are going to forecast now on the working capital schedule. So first of all, what do we need? We also need this format. Okay, so what we can do, we can simply copy this and come to working capital schedule and paste it here. Right now what we can do, we have to first bring all the items that we have to forecast. So the items are, so let me just select these two items and these two items also copy them working capital and paste them here. Now I need the data. So put in equal balance sheet, account receivable entry, enter, control D. Control R. Bring these two items also. Go to balance sheet. Accounts payable. Enter. Control D. Control R. Now these four items will be forecasted based on different criteria. So the first item is account receivable that will be forecasted as a percentage of sales. The next is inventory. Inventory as a percentage of cost of goods sold then accounts payable as a percentage of cost of goods sold then accrued liabilities as a percentage of SGNA. so these are the criteria based on which we are going to forecast the items Next, now what we need, we need to bring sales here, COGS and SGNA. So put in equal here, come to income statement, take this net sales and just below that we have cost of goods sold. So you can press control D also, select this, press control R. I need SGNA also, so come to income statement. And here we have SGN expenses. Enter. Select this. Press Control R. Now, as I have told you in some another video also, to forecast any item, you need to follow four steps. What are those four steps? Let me revise them again. First step is to collect historical data. Second step is to do the historical analysis. Third step is to take assumptions and fourth step is to forecast the item. So the first step is now done. We have collected historical data. We will do the historical analysis now. So what we will do, we will calculate the average of account receivable bracket close divided by net sales. Whenever you take any item of the balance sheet as a percentage of any item of the income statement, the balance sheet item will always be average. If you calculate return on equity, so the formula is PAT upon equity, but equity will be average. So profit after tax divided by average equity. Sales turnover, so sales divided by assets. So sales divided by average assets. 
so whenever you take any item of the balance sheet and you are comparing it with the item of the income statement it will balance sheet item will always be average enter now press control r select this press control d now convert these numbers to percentages so the shortcut is control shift percentage so equal to average average of accounts payable divided by cost of goods sold enter control r control d now what we have to do based on historical average we have to take the assumption for future so historical average is 12% only so we can type 12% here this will be 14% this will be uh, 9% and this will be let's say 24% in this case study you will find that most of the time historical analysis gives you certain kind of trend but practically when you will be making the model of any company this kind of trend will not be available you will find lot of ups and downs but for the case study purpose i have taken such data which gives you the trend so that it becomes easy for you to take the assumption after the completion of this case study when you will make the model of the company you will find yourself in confused situation where history will not give you a proper trend okay so let us proceed with this case study now when you will be working on the advanced modules for different industries there you will have to struggle a lot to take your assumptions so we have taken the assumption for this case study based on historical average now let me take the assumption for future and carry forward let me color this light like this now we will forecast these four items before we forecast these items let us first understand these assumption what are we actually assuming here we are assuming that the company will be selling its products on 12% credit because if you look at the history in the last 2 3 years out of total sales the company was having 12% credit so if total sales so out of total sales of 100 12% sales was made on credit so we are just assuming that even in the future company will sell 12% on credit we are assuming that inventory will be 14% of cost of goods sold because it was 14% in history also company will have 9% accounts payable as a percentage of cost of goods sold because that was the trend in the history also accordingly accrued liabilities will be 24% of sgna because it was around 24% only in history also now based on these assumptions we can certainly forecast these items now put in equal net sales of the year multiply by 12% so out from a sale of 5350 642 will be on credit now let me select this range and press control r you can reduce the decimals like this now press control d to calculate your inventory now here we are saying that from a cost of goods sold of 3264 inventory will be only 457 14% of cogs will be kept as inventory now to forecast accounts payable take cogs of the year multiply by the accounts payable which is 9% so we are thinking or we are assuming that out of total cost of goods sold 9% will be purchased on credit then accrued liability sgna into sgna of the year into 24% because that is what we think that 24% of selling general and admin expenses will be outstanding at the end of the year which will be kept in the balance sheet so now select this and press control r reduce the decimals from here now these four items have been forecasted based on these assumption so if you think that these assumptions are not correct so you certainly have the option to change this assumption going forward but right now we are trying to understand how to make the model this is a structure how do we forecast these items 
This is the structure that we are going through. Assumption is something which will depend, which will differ from analyst to analyst, from person to person, from company to company. So assumption will surely change. But at least let's have an understanding. Let's have the clarity on how do we make financial models. Once you are through with the financial modeling part, you will have to struggle with your assumption throughout your life. Okay. Now these items have been forecasted. Let's connect them back to balance sheet. So let me copy this. Come to balance sheet. Keep the cursor here. Press Alt E S. Paste special. And here you will see paste link. You can press L or you can click on this paste link. So Alt E S L. Data has been linked here. Now come here. Equal to working capital schedule. Accounts payable from 2021. Enter. Control D and select this. Press Control R. So in this video, we have understood how to forecast the items of the working capital. In the next video, let's talk about some more item of the balance sheet. Thanks for watching.